Did you know that simply timing when you eat can have a significant effect on weight loss? It's known as intermittent fasting, which you may have heard of, but most women do it wrong. However, when done correctly, it can switch on hormonal pathways that burn fat 24-7. I've experienced countless cases of women who have done this and finally experienced a weight loss breakthrough myself without even feeling hungry. I personally lost stubborn weight around my midsection doing this. However, here's where most women make a crucial mistake. In order to maximize the hormonal fat burning response, you need to time it with your monthly cycle or the results can be poor. It was when I discovered the combination of intermittent fasting and syncing it with my cycle that I got a breakthrough. I'm going to break down step by step how this works and also reveal how this approach programs your body to increase fat burning hormones so that you too can finally lose those extra pounds and keep them off for good. I know some people might be worried that they'll be too hungry to do intermittent fasting, but stick with me as I'll teach you a trick to get around this and make it much easier. First, let me explain how intermittent fasting works and why it's different to calorie restriction diets. Using this method is all about the timing of your meals, not necessarily what you're eating. This distinction is vital because it shifts the emphasis from calorie counting to when you eat. Intermittent fasting is beneficial for weight loss because it targets the root cause of weight gain, hormonal imbalance. By optimizing the timing of your food intake, you can directly influence your body's hormonal response, leading to more effective fat loss. Let me explain. When you eat food, the calories can either be burned for energy or stored as fat. The key hormone insulin determines where those calorie goes. When insulin is high, calories get stored as fat. But when insulin drops during fasting periods, your body burns fat for energy instead. This is where most diets fail. They only focus on calorie reduction without considering hormone optimization. But restricting calories can cause your body to lower its metabolic rate and cling onto fat stores. The metabolic advantage of intermittent fasting is that extended fasts lower insulin so your body can readily tap into and torch stored body fat. In a recent study, obese individuals who fasted for 12 weeks lost an extra 9% more weight on average compared to other popular diets. So hacking your hormones through fasting is clearly superior for weight loss goals. I'm going to explain how to sync your cycle with intermittent fasting to maximize results. But before that, I want to explain, aside from the benefits of weight loss, fasting helps with a process called autophagy. This is like the body's cleaning service, removing damaged cells and recycling parts for new use. This helps keep your body healthy, fights aging and defends against diseases. As I just mentioned, when you're fasting, insulin levels drop significantly because there's no new food coming in that needs to be processed. Insulin dropping is crucial as it signals your body to start burning stored fat for energy, highlighting the interconnectedness of fasting and hormonal regulation. This is exactly what Dr. Jason Funk, a well-known nephrologist, discovered. Many of his patients had conditions affected by high insulin and were obese. He taught them how to switch their focus from what they were eating to when they were eating. This method saw amazing results. Interestingly, aside from the benefit of insulin decreasing when we fast, key fat-burning hormones increase, which we're going to get to in a minute. But first, it's important to note before you start longer fasts, Check with your healthcare provider to make sure fasting is safe and suitable for your personal needs. And please note, intermittent fasting isn't suitable for people with eating disorders who are pregnant or lactating. Now, let's uncover how we switch on these fat burning hormones. Fasting increases levels of human growth hormone, HGH, and norepinephrine. These are hormones that assist with fat burning and preserving muscle mass while losing weight. First, let's look at human growth hormone. This starts to decline as we get to around 30 and continues at about 12% to 15% per decade. This reduction in HGH production is associated with increased fat accumulation and reduced muscle mass, typical signals of aging. This is important as HGH is a key player in cell regeneration, growth and maintaining healthy human tissue, even in vital organs like your brain. However, when it comes to weight loss, HGH has a critical role in supporting metabolism by stimulating fat breakdown, lipolysis, and preventing fat storage, lipogenesis. It also aids protein synthesis, crucial for muscle growth and repair. So higher HGH levels can potentially boost muscle mass while reducing body fat. 
And get this, a recent study found that HGH levels increased fivefold during a 24-hour fast. That's why intermittent fasting can be such a game changer when it comes to losing weight. And don't worry, if you're unsure how to handle a longer fast to speed up weight loss, stick with us to the end as we'll uncover a special trick to help you do this. Now, let's look at the hormone norepinephrine, which also increases when we fast. This is a natural chemical in your body that helps break down fat, making it easier to lose weight. It's like telling your fat cells to open up and use their stored energy, which can help with weight loss. Therefore, intermittent fasting provides a potent tool to naturally increase HGH and norepinephrine production, promoting fat loss and muscle gain, thus helping us maintain a healthier body composition and potentially slow down the aging process. And shortly, we're going to give you some key tools to use to optimize your fasting so you can speed up your weight loss. But now that we've explored how fasting affects hormones universally, Let's dive into how it interacts with the unique hormonal balance of women, particularly in relation to the menstrual cycle. You might be surprised to learn how aligning fasting with your cycle can unlock the door to easier weight loss. The main hormones we're dealing with here are estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. During the initial 10 days of your cycle, estrogen levels are at a low point. Estrogen plays a vital role in managing insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. When estrogen takes a dip, insulin can surge, resulting in increased hunger and cravings. This phase is ideal for longer fasts, around 16 to 18 hours, as it can help control these insulin surges and keep cravings at bay. Moving on to day 11 to 16, you're in your ovulation phase where all these hormones, estrogen, progesterone and testosterone, reach their peak. Fasting isn't advisable during this time because our hormones need nutrient support for optimal functioning. Rather than cutting calories during this phase, it's more beneficial to concentrate on fueling your body with nutrient-rich foods. The subsequent phase from days 16 to 19, levels of estrogen and testosterone fall. Tissue cells regain their insulin sensitivity and metabolic flexibility. This implies that stored glycogen and body fat can be accessed and used for immediate energy needs instead of being continuously hoarded. In essence, the decrease in estrogen and testosterone triggers a metabolic shift towards burning stored fuel rather than mainly storing energy post-ovulation. This sets up an optimal window for extended fasts. This was backed up by a study carried out at the University of Virginia. It investigated how short-term fasting impacts hormones related to weight loss and health in women during this specific phase of their menstrual cycle. The study included eight healthy young women who underwent 2.5 days of fasting during the post-ovulation phase. The findings were remarkable. Fasting significantly reduced levels of leptin, a hormone associated with hunger and fat storage, and substantially increased growth hormone, which is known for its role in fat breakdown and muscle building. These changes happened without affecting reproductive hormones, indicating an optimal window for weight loss benefits through fasting without disrupting hormonal balance. So if you're feeling up to it, you may want to try a longer fast of 24 to 36 hours during this phase. This brings me to the last phase from day 20 to 28. During this stage, steer clear of fasting periods longer than 13 hours, as this can cause blood sugar crashes and spikes that interfere with progesterone signaling. Instead, aim to eat meals every five to six hours, including a balanced breakfast each morning. And as for women who no longer have a cycle, intermittent fasting can still aid fat loss. Menopause leads to a decrease in estrogen, which can cause insulin resistance and weight gain, particularly around the abdomen. Thus, intermittent fasting can help manage insulin levels and encourage fat burning. So aligning your fasting schedule with your menstrual cycle can enhance hormonal balance and boost weight loss results. Keep in mind, every woman's body is unique and it's crucial to pay attention to your body's signals and adjust as needed. Intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, but a tool that can be tailored to work for you. Now you've learned how beneficial intermittent fasting can be for the body, you might be wondering, how do you kickstart this journey? First off, selecting a suitable fasting method is crucial. Begin with a plan that seems manageable to you and slowly extend your fasting window as you progress. There are various ways to do this, like the 16-8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and then eat within an eight hour window. Some people extend this and fast for 18 or 20 hours of the day. You may just wanna start with only eating at meal times and avoiding snacks, and then move on to eating a late breakfast so you have a 14 hour fast. 
then slowly build up to a 16 or 18 hour fasting window. You need to listen to your body and be sure to work with a healthcare provider if you are doing a longer fast or have medications to take that need to be had with food. When it comes to your eating windows, focus on foods rich in nutrients. Consuming high quality proteins, healthy fats and loads of vegetables will not only supply essential nutrients, but also keep you feeling full longer, making fasting, weight loss and hormonal balance easier. Now let's address common hurdles like hunger pangs and low energy. These are usually because of fluctuations in ghrelin, the hunger hormone, which can rise during fasting periods. To combat this, keep yourself hydrated by drinking lots of water or herbal teas. And now I want to reveal one of the keys for making fasting sustainable, and that is electrolytes. When you're fasting, your body isn't getting its usual supply of nutrients from food, including electrolytes, which are minerals like sodium, potassium and magnesium. These minerals help your body do important things like keeping your muscles working properly, staying hydrated and making sure your nerves can send signals correctly. Without enough electrolytes, you might feel tired, dizzy or get headaches. By adding electrolytes during fasting, you can help prevent these symptoms, keep your body running smoothly and make fasting a more comfortable experience. It's like making sure a machine has all the right oils and fuels it needs to work well, even when it's not getting its usual energy supply. A further thing to consider when fasting is whether or not to exercise. If you are doing a shorter fast, then for most people, it's not just acceptable, but can be useful during fasting. But timing is everything. Light to moderate exercise such as walking or Pilates can be done any time during your fast. However, for more intense workouts like weightlifting or high intensity interval training, it's best to schedule these towards the end of your fasting period and before your first meal. This allows you to leverage the natural increase in growth hormone during fasting, promoting muscle growth and fat loss. Remember to pay attention to your body and make adjustments as necessary to your fasting routine. And although fasting can speed up weight loss, there are other ways to switch on fat burning. To learn more, be sure to watch the video on the screen now.